Hey healthy bunnies, happy new year. I hope you guys had an awesome time over the holidays enjoying friends, family, and lots of food. Now speaking of lots of food, I know when the new year comes in, a lot of people are wanting to get back on track with healthy eating and also back on track with their budget. So I'm participating in a collaboration with the Kin community called Back to Budget Basics. And what I will be doing is sharing with you how to shop on a budget for healthy food and also to prepare for meal prepping. Now after you watch this video, make sure you click in the link in the description box to check out all the other videos in my collaboration. I prefer to grocery shop on Sundays because I'm using the food during the week and I want my veggies and fruit to be extra fresh. Okay, my first tip is make a list and stick to it. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten to the grocery store without a list and somehow all these items I didn't account for ended up in the basket. And so my normal $40 a week budget became like 70 or even $80. So um, an app that I really like to use is called Wonderlist. You can actually use it on the computer or your phone. And I make my grocery list. I check things off in the app, in the store. I can actually just recall that list at a later time too um, if these are staple items that I often buy. My next tip is plan your meals in advance. I'm huge on meal prepping, especially for lunches so that I don't end up eating out every single day at lunch when I'm working. So make sure you make a list of what recipes you're going to use, what ingredients you need, and make sure you pick those up at the grocery store. Now you guys let me know if you would like to see more videos on how to meal prep and how to make a meal plan for yourself, let me know and I can actually do that for you. So along the lines of meal prepping, make sure you always pack your lunch. For me, this is important because uh, sometimes I have really busy days at work and if I don't pack my lunch I might end up eating really late but most importantly I'm going to end up spending a ton especially to eat healthy I think that I can eat healthy when I pack it myself a lot easier than I can to eat healthy and eat out so for myself packing a lunch I may spend anywhere from two to four dollars making this meal at home if I eat out that same healthy meal may cost me fifteen dollars now imagine that Monday through Friday so you can save yourself money and time by just packing your lunch so my next tip is about buying leafy greens I am I'm a huge fan of smoothies, salads, and stir fries, and all of those I use leafy greens. Now I usually opt for dark leafy greens over lettuce because they're more versatile. If you think about it, you can use them in a smoothie, but you can also cook them into a stir fry. So things like kale, um, spinach or baby spinach, those are really good things to buy because I can blend up a cup or two into my smoothie, but I can also turn around and drop that into a stir fry. So with those, when you buy them, make sure you buy them in bunches, pick them out yourself instead of those large prepackaged bags. I know it's easier with them being pre-washed and prepped, but they're usually two or three dollars more than just buying yourself a bunch. And if you pay attention, sometimes those leafy greens are on sale. So save yourself money, wash them yourself. So my next tip is make sure you buy some durable containers to store your food in when you do your meal prepping. I really prefer glass containers because they're a little bit more environmentally friendly. And think about it, when you're reheating something like with tomato sauce, those plastic containers just do not stand up to it. With glass, you're able to clean them and they're more durable, they're more environmentally friendly and microwave safe. So it's worth the investment and then you can have them for as long as they last and they're dishwasher friendly as well. My next tip for you is to make sure you shop around for the best deals and utilize your coupons. Uh, a lot of mailers will come in uh, for your local grocery stores. If you take the time to read them, you'll know where the sales are, where the deals are, and it's usually based on which things are in season. So maybe spaghetti squash is in season in the winter, but then there might be stone fruits available in the summer. So I usually will look around for that and I will shop accordingly. My last tip for you is to look online and find your local farmer's market. This is a great place to buy nuts, uh, fruits, veggies. The last time I went to the farmer's market, I walked away with like six veggies and greens and it was like around twelve dollars it was such a great deal compared to shopping at the grocery store and i just feel like shopping at the farmer's market is more fun you get a chance to get fresh air and sunshine and sometimes there are foods that you can try while you're out there so i really recommend going maybe grab a friend or a family member and stock up on your produce for the week Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for my back to budget basics. I hope that this helped you and I know for me, I'm gonna make sure I follow my own advice and try to save myself time and money. So leave me a comment below and let me know what video you'd like to see next related to budget and meal prepping. Don't forget to click in the description box and check out the rest of the videos for this collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.